my life used to really suck. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Currently 6 a.m. and I'm about to head to the gym even earlier than usual. I've been just slowly increasingly making it earlier and earlier. I also woke up this morning with my new alarm clock the hatchery store if you guys watch my other vlog it's like a sunrise alarm clock and it was amazing i actually woke up before my alarm even went off just because the light in my room so that was an awesome way to wake up but here's my outfit of the day i am just wearing this lululemon sports bra that has like a mesh top to it this is really old i can't even link it they don't have it available anymore i don't even know what it's called and then i'm wearing my gymshark vital seamless leggings just in black and then my adidas cloud foam sneakers and then i also got asked about this bag this is the uh, festival bag from lululemon in black and it's really convenient to put my camera in when i'm at the gym so that i can film my workouts for you guys Hey guys, I just got out of the gym and that was invigorating. It looks so gross right now, ew. But at least I'm tan because I self tanned yesterday and I'm starting to experience that like gym high feeling when you come out of the gym and you're just like happy and smiling for like no reason other than serotonin from working out. Here's my stats, 214 for active, 284 for total calories. My heart rate got up to 163. So that's awesome, and I'm done my workout, and it's only 7.16. Guys, my curling iron broke, and I literally haven't had it for not even six months. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was using the T3 forever, and the T3's, you know, obviously great OG curling iron, but I got a long barrel one because I got hair extensions, and they're super long, and it makes it really easy because you can wrap all of your hair in it. So it's like really great if you have longer hair and it's by the brand bioionic and i got it from sephora i believe i literally went to go plug it in and it wouldn't work and i thought maybe it was just like the outlet in the bathroom so i tried the other one it didn't work and i brought it into my office and tried it and it didn't work and it just won't turn on and i'm just like so annoyed right now because that was over a hundred dollars and it already broke like are you kidding me i have the t3 but it gives me completely different curls than what i'm going for i lately have been really into doing like these soft waves and I just can't really seem to achieve that with the T3. I don't know why, but it just doesn't work as well for me. So I'm probably gonna straighten my hair. Cause like, this is how my hair dries. It's like so freaking frizzy. And it has like a little bit of a wave to it, but it's just like frizzy, frizzy, frizzy. Finished my coffee out of this super cute XOXO Valentine's Day mug that's coming to Sun Bunny tomorrow. So if you're into Valentine's Day or you just wanna get like a cute gift for your friend, this mug is so 
freaking cute. Like, just, I appreciate it. Chad's gonna kill me because I'm adding another mug to my collection, but this is just too cute. I have to. So I'm in the car now, obviously, and I'm heading to get my eyebrows tinted. Another thing I have never had done before, but it's just something that I have really wanted to try out. And I had my eyebrows laminated last week. It made a very subtle difference. I feel like it would have been better if I would have done tinting with it at the same time. I think it would have been like more of a noticeable difference. But I do like how fluffy my eyebrows are since having got them laminated. Like I feel like I didn't brush them in any shape that I want, which is nice. But I almost feel like if I do the tinting, then that might prevent me from having to fill them in. Because I still have to fill them in with this. And keep in mind, this is probably something I'm just trying once. Like, I'm not going to continue doing it. If I really want that, I'll probably just do microblading, which is something I have been looking into. But, very expensive. I'm eating plantain chips from Thrive Market. They're so good. Mmm. Such a good snack. I have nothing on my eyebrows right now, but obviously I did put makeup on. So there's that. I hope it's okay that I did makeup. I know they're probably gonna wipe off the makeup that's around my eyebrows, but I didn't touch my eyebrows. Also, I got my nails done yesterday and I wasn't vlogging, so I didn't get to show you guys, but they're Valentine's Day. So they're like all pretty and pink and I love it. It's very bright for me. I usually always get my nails pretty neutral, but I really like them. I think they are so festive. Here's a better look at my nails. I really should have gotten them shortened, but I didn't, and I kind of wish I did because they're freaking long as heck, but they look pretty. Also, I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru, and I'm not getting coffee because I already had coffee. I am getting a very, very refresher because they're so good. Pretty sure they do have caffeine, and I got one yesterday, and it just like made my day. It's low in calories and still sweet though, so it just... Ugh. I hadn't had one in like years and then I got it and it was just amazing so I'm gonna get another one okay I'm about to go in for my eyebrow appointment which is why I just put my mask on but I want to show you guys what my refresher is like so clear it actually looks even darker than it really is right now I swear to you it's like so light and he said that the berries are just like the thing that gives it the color so it's not gonna taste any different but I swear to you it tastes watered down like I'm not even kidding it really tastes watered down but anyway whatever I'm going in I want to give you guys my little before of what my eyebrows look like you know they're not bad but a little sparse I am back and I'm freaking out you guys I did not expect much just because of after the lamination like it wasn't that much of a change this this is it. It looks like I just got my eyebrows microbladed. Give you guys a little close up action. I am so freaking excited. Obviously like all of my makeup is wiped off from around so I'll have to fix that. But I can't believe how good this looks. And she said it would last like three to four weeks. I'm totally gonna come back and get this done again. It was only $20, so freaking worth it. Just like that it's the next day because I suck and I didn't vlog yesterday guys I was just like in work mode and I had so much to get done I was freaking out that I wasn't gonna get it all done but I did get everything done at a reasonable time last night and then I just spent the rest of the evening with Chad and I didn't really feel like picking up my camera so I listened to myself and I took the night off but I am back today and I'm just gonna combine yesterday and today into one vlog so i'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day i'm about to just go run some errands but i like threw this together and i was like oh this is kind of a vibe i don't even know what this is but here we are so i'm just wearing this really cute cropped hoodie and then my lululemon align leggings with like the 
cheetah print and then my adidas cloud foam which are starting to get very dirty and i'm very sad about it and then i'm wearing my newest bag this is the gucci marmont um, mini one in the dusty rose color and i am freaking obsessed with it i sold my gucci belt bag on fashion file and decided to get this with the money that i made and i love this so much i loved the belt bag for a while but it was really nice to switch it up. And you guys know I'm just like the queen of selling designer bags and then buying a new bag and then waiting until I phase that bag out and then buying a different bag. But I feel like it's not that big of a deal because I'm just cycling through the same money technically. Just arrived at Starbucks and the line is literally wrapped around the freaking building. That's the start of the drive through line and the Starbucks drive through is over there. It's all the way around. So I'm gonna go inside and hope it's faster. I was literally just that person. Yep. I had to make them remake my drink and I literally hate doing that um but it was like a whole cup full of cream and I just asked for light cream and it literally looked like a cup of cream with like a splash of coffee like what is this Dunkin Donuts no honey I want to taste my coffee this is still even like on the creamy side but like this is delicious it was literally like white it looked like it didn't even have coffee it looked like a cup of half and half Anyways, I said sorry like 10 times, so I guess that's okay. But I just got an iced coffee. This was like my OG iced coffee, like before the holidays, and I'm bringing it back. It's just a grande iced coffee with two pumps of white mocha and a splash of cream or almond milk. I used to do extra almond milk, but today I did splash of cream. So see if I can get out of here because it is like so scary driving in here. Can I successfully make it out without running someone over? Guys, we are heading now to Plato's Closet. I have not been to Plato's Closet in literally years. But back in the day, before I ever was on Poshmark, Plato's Closet is where I used to take my clothes to sell them and, you know, buy new stuff. But I have so many clothes since I cleaned out my closet and I desperately need to get rid of this stuff. So I thought, you know, I listed tons of stuff on Poshmark and I sold a ton on Poshmark. A lot of you guys bought stuff actually. And I still have a few things I'm still gonna put on Poshmark versus bringing it to them. Even though I would probably make more money if I sold it on Poshmark, it's honestly just easier for me to take it to Plato's Closet and hope that they buy it all so that I can get it out of my house. Okay, I'm back in my car now. I just dropped all of my clothes off and I was walking around in there for a little bit, just looking around and I just, I have to take a second to tell you guys something. That place used to be like my old stomping grounds. Like I used to shop at Plato's Closet religiously and I was so poor back then and it makes me appreciate what I have now because it really took me back in time when I used to drive a really crappy old car that was like falling apart and I used to come here and this is back when I was living with like sketchy roommates and just really trying to get by. If you guys don't know, I never had any help from my parents and like it used to be a struggle. My life was not always like this where I can like have a Gucci bag and drive my nice car. Like my life used to really suck and <laughs> it used to be so hard and I remember I would like bring my big bag of clothes and just like pray that they might buy something and then maybe I could get a new shirt or something to wear in front of Chad back in our early days and like it would make my day if I found like I don't know a Victoria's Secret pink tank top that like still had a tag on it and now I'm just selling them like all of these big bags of clothes and I know some girl is going to walk in there and find like half of this stuff has tags on it and just like really good brands and just like die with excitement and happiness because they're getting something new and they don't have money to buy new things. <sighs> it just like, it makes me happy. It makes me appreciate the come up and never forget where you came from. That's all I'm going to say. I saw like some other younger girls in there. I sound like an old lady right now, but really, I mean, I'm 26. I saw some like younger girls in their younger 20s, like shopping in there. And I just like looked at them and just made me smile because I know that like they probably don't have a ton of money and they're just so excited to shop and get some new stuff. And Plato's Closet was it, man. I used to have so much fun shopping in there. It used to make my day just like finding new stuff and selling to them and I don't know it made me like it took me back in time it made me kind of sad I was just like wow <sighs> I do not miss those days of struggling with money and working 
paycheck to paycheck and being in school and if you guys don't know like that's truly why it took me so long to finish my bachelor's degree was because I had to work 40 hours a week to pay my roommates rent plus pay for my books and this is all while taking out student loans and like life was a struggle so to be where I'm at right now just like is so nice and really really makes me appreciate it I'm back home now obviously but I'm literally about to leave again I just finished curling my hair and doing my makeup I used my other curling irons so the curls are not very defined but I guess it's okay I'm actually going to take pictures and here's one of the new arrivals I'll show you guys so cute didn't end up getting to take pictures in this um, like a styled shoot until today even though it's already live but I'll still be able to use it for social media also check out this really cute gold bracelet set I am obsessed with these they're super lightweight and they're not real so that's why I'm not charging a lot of money for them I actually am coming out with gold filled beaded it bracelets similar to this but they're gonna be a little more expensive so if you want something a little cheaper but that's still really cute and it should last you a while as long as you don't get like lotion perfume and get it wet and stuff um, but they're just so pretty and I feel like it's a nice set because they're all different sizes and since I'm already here Let me show you guys the other new arrivals that you guys can shop now this really cute XOXO shirt you guys This is just such a cute t-shirt. It's actually really good quality, too And it's just very soft and cozy perfect for Valentine's Day. I love the colors We have this denim jacket that I have been wearing like crazy. It's an oversized fit It's slightly cropped and very very distressed along the hem. I also really love the black buttons I feel like you don't find like denim jackets like this with black buttons so i'm obsessed it's also like super distressed in the back very very cute I had to keep one of these for myself because i love a good denim jacket 